On 8 December 1980, John Lennon was shot four times in the back outside of his apartment building in New York City. He was 40 years old. The Beatles star would have reached a new milestone today as the songwriter turned 83. As part of the Fab Four, the star entertained crowds around the world and is considered a hero to many people. But John also battled his own struggles. From violent outbursts to marital woes and tragedy, Express.co.uk explored the larger-than-life character, a man who was also full of contradictions. Lennon was born on October 9, 1940, at Liverpool Maternity Hospital to mother Julia, nay Stanley, and father Alfred Lennon. His dad was absent for much of his childhood and spent a lot of time overseas working as a merchant seaman. The singer did not live with his mother, Julia, while growing up. He instead lived with his aunt, Mimi Smith, throughout his entire childhood. Despite this, the imagined singer and his mother maintained a good relationship into his teenage years. But the beloved songwriter suffered tragedy from an early age when his mum died on July 15, 1958, after being hit by a car driven by an off-duty police officer. Lennon was 17 years old at the time. The Beatles star touched on his relationship with his parents in a track called Mother, the first song released on Lennon's solo album in 1970. Following his departure from the band, the singer became known for his advocacy of spreading peace and love. Lennon was vocal about his violent past and previously admitted he had regrets about his behavior. During a 1980 interview with Playboy, he said, I was a hitter. I couldn't express myself and I hit. I fought men and I hit women. That is why I am always on about peace, you see. It is the most violent people who go for love and peace. Everything's the opposite. But I sincerely believe in love and peace. I am a violent man who has learned not to be violent and regrets his violence. In his first wife Cynthia Lennon's book, she wrote that he once slapped her in the face in a moment of jealousy. Lennon had been married to Cynthia for six years, from 1962 to 1968, before she found him with another woman. They also had a son together. Julian Lennon, who was born on April 8, 1963. The imagined singer began spending more and more time with the woman in question, who was seven years his senior, who would soon be his wife, Yoko Ono, after the pair met in May 1968. Cynthia later recalled the events in her own words, revealing she first met Yoko that fateful morning when she learned of John's infidelity. The Beatles star was caught red-handed by his wife when she returned home from holiday and found Yoko in her house, 
wearing a bathrobe and sipping on a cup of tea. She went on to confess she had a feminine intuition about Lennon's relationship with Yoko. Cynthia said, I met her actually when I came home from a holiday. But I had seen her before. I mean I met her physically, you could say. Remembering that shocking morning when she caught him together, she added, she had been staying with John that night, and I came home and they were there, which was sort of curtains for our marriage, as far as all of us were concerned, really. John and Cynthia divorced later that year in 1968 and in 1969, he married Yoko and the couple later welcomed son Sean Lennon. They remained together until he was murdered in 1980.